So I'm scrolling through TikTok one night and I stumble across a video where apparently this woman got into a road rage incident with this other dude, pulls over, grabs her gun, and not only points the gun at the dude, but then fires her gun at him, allegedly. So in this video, I'm reacting to that video. I saved it and I was like, yo, this is wild, like bananas. This woman cannot be doing this kind of thing. So I have the video here. Five month old child at the house and I do not want to get shot either. This crazy woman pulled a gun on a man. I am stuck, this chick just shot at this guy over here. The man approached her car window to confront her about brake checking and she responded by firing a gunshot at him. I can't help you. You can't do this, bro. You cannot do this. Please get in your car. Can you please get in your car? What's going on? Really? I have a five month old child at the house and I do not want to get shot either. Nobody wants to get shot here. Please get in the car. Go. Come on, Dad. I'm sorry. I got in the middle of this. Shannon, I'm sorry. Jackson, I'm sorry. Eventually, the cops arrived who took statements of everyone. The charges at the woman are unknown at the moment. Now, check this out. This is from thebaynet.com. Road rage escalates. Woman faces felony charges after pointing gun at drivers in Prince George's County. This was released September 17th of 2024. Uh, Maryland State Police have arrested a woman who reportedly pointed a gun at a motorist during a road rage incident in Prince George's County late last week. The accused, identified as Brittany Aaron Kozer, 37 of Upper Marlboro, Maryland, was arrested at her residence in Prince George's County on September 12th of 2024. She is charged with two counts of first-degree felony assault along with misdemeanor assault and firearm offenses. Kozer was granted private home detention after being held without bond. A prelim investigation indicated that on September 11th of 2024, troopers from a Forestville barrack responded to a report of road rage involving a white BMW SUV. The driver, later identified as Koza, reportedly pointed a firearm at another driver near Route 5 and Surrits Road. The complainant's child was in the vehicle at the time of the dispute. Yeah, I, I mean, did, did you really think that wasn't going to happen? Like, you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. And there is the Glock that the troopers recovered, a Glock 26. And I'm telling you, did you not think you were going to find out? Did you not think there was consequences to your actions? But then she says, I'm going to fire? Dude, yo. The road rage, the incident has already occurred. It is no longer a threat. That firearm should not be out and displayed and being brandished, let alone being pointed. He was not being a threat. His hands were up. He's like, what, bro? And the video is from another dude who, who saw kind of the second half, I would believe, uh, of, of this happening and he's recording and he's literally saying I'm sorry to I, I suppose I think his wife the guy says I have a five-month-old in the car and Dude, she's literally the way she's holding that gun and just pointing it willy-nilly Like that is just absolute. I mean tear Terrible pistol grip by the way, but also look at her stance. I'm in the right. You're wrong I have a gun you follow my orders, which is just that's not a thing like that doesn't <laughs> she just stands there and I feel like is waiting for something to happen, waiting for this guy to come at her or bring out a knife so she's ready to justify her actions. Yo, if you see something like this on the road, number one, drive away. Okay. Number two, drive away. And <laughs> like that all, that's all there is to do. The craziest thing in this video, I think, is when she says, literally point blank and he's probably what 25 feet away and she's holding that gun and she says i'm going to fire at you as if she was in the right she's she's not in the right that is <laughs> that's bananas dude the guy is literally trying to move around trying not to get shot and killed that morning and this woman is just like i'm going to fire at you and then of course the cop comes and then the gun is just gone and this woman is probably going to say I was threatened, uh, th this person threw me the bird, and it's a road rage incident. And something like this does not warrant her getting out of the vehicle 
when everything is said and done and then grabbing her firearm and pointing said firearm. Like I said earlier, if you find yourself in a road rage incident, just drive away. There is no point in stopping your car, getting out of your car and pointing your gun at someone. There's, there's just no, there's no point. Even if you get shot, if you're getting shot on the road, you can still drive away. Do not return fire. I mean, that's just bizarre. Like people barely can drive correctly. Now imagine these people driving at 65, 70 miles an hour and then pointing a gun as they're driving and shooting that gun. Just, it's not a thing. Don't do it. Drive away. Call the cops, get as much information as you can in the moment and drive away. If anything, you should put your gun down and take out your phone and film or be on the phone with dispatch as it's happening. That is a much better option and you will not go to jail. Please don't do anything like this. This is just stupid behavior. This is brain rot. That video should show us to be vigilant, head on a swivel, be safe and be kind on a daily basis. Guys, let me know if you like this video. Please make sure to drop a like and comment and subscribe and make sure to click that ring doorbell little icon thing to let you guys know the next time I drop a video so you're the first to see it. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next Johnny Q video.